Sakurai, don't fuck with me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What? There you are, you big beautiful bastard! This is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game was recently honored with five awards at this year's Japan Game Awards. It's five awards, dude, awards shit. on top of that as well. Each award is very meaningful to me, so I would like to take the opportunity to extend my thanks to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported us. Thank you so much. Without further ado, let's begin the presentation. Why is there a fight stick on the table? Let's start with what the Neo Geo is. It refers to a 1990 video game console for use in arcades and at home. As okay, well so we are getting a little bit of a history lesson. Itself. That was a good read from some in of the speculators. The equivalent to the Super NES had only just released in Japan, so if you wanted to play arcade games at home before then, the only option was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment System. However, with the Neo Geo system, you could play the arcade versions of games at home with no drop in quality. 1990 was right around the year that I started working for a game company. Back then, Japan oh, really? had rental services for arcade games. In other words, you could go to a rental store, rent an arcade game, take it home, and play it. Okay. After that, they were sold for home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000 yen. I don't know what that is in, 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 in expensive. I don't know what that is to, uh, like, the, the dollar. It, compared to playing a game in the arcade 300 times at 100 yen per play, you're getting your money's worth. At the time, okay. some people actually thought this was cheap. It's just a Neo Geo controller? Okay, Nesquik, thank you. I mean, there really are people who've played games in the Super Smash Bros. series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Anyway, the MBS, as it was called then, was sold in various places, and for an arcade machine, it wasn't all that expensive. Huh, I didn't know they were that cheap. That's why you end up seeing lots of candy stores having a metal slug cabinet. The weird Neo Geo style, though. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, yo, where's Terry? Can you see? They opened up with it. They opened up with this. And this is the actual console itself. Here is the reset button, and here you slot in the big game cartridges. That those game cartridges look like they're fucking huge. Jesus. Just kidding. Actually, this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. Oh, what? There was a portable? You could also insert it into this docking station and play it as a home console. Dude, that's so cool! Nintendo Switch to it. Sagar can use all four controllers at once? Yeah, probably. Updated iterations of past systems are emblematic of the Neo Geo. Next, let's talk about what Fatal Fury is. Yo, the music! It released in 1991. The, the music! Here is Street Fighter 2. But this one came later. It launched after Street Fighter 2. Like many of the other fighters, Yo, dude, this music, though! often regarded as a title that was developed to capitalize on the popularity of Street Fighter 2. But that's not really the case. Actually, both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed now we know where Nintendo got the idea for Switch, yeah. Fighter as a foundation. In fact, the development of Fatal Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. Really? That's interesting. Did I just hear you say, well? This one is also a multiplayer focused fighting game. In this yeah, we're getting a history lesson right out the gate! Killed by Geese Howard. Geese Howard starts up a fighting tournament in Southtown, which he runs. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, which is known as King of Fighters. I mentioned the term King of Fighters, something you may have heard before. Yes, there's actually a popular series called the King of Fighters, and that series was named after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. Yeah, I get, I understand why he's doing this, because there was a lot of people who had no fucking clue who Terry was. Who is the protagonist of Fatal Fury, also appears So I definitely understand why they did this, but I like that they did it. If you want to play a game from either of the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the. Good thing I've been watching Maximilian before the direct. Yeah, man. You may not know which. I was too. I've been watching his legacy a lot. Recommendations from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special. From the King of Fighters series, my recommendation would be the King of Fighters '95. So he recommends Special in '95. All sorts of strategic. That's where Power Meter was. I recommend the King of Fighters '98. 
Oh my god, dude, he liked 90. Oh my god. That's the one meter I really wanted to. Hopefully he took inspiration from it. recorded about one month prior to its release. That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this one, and that takes time. The game footage you see here is not from the final production ROM, so please understand that there may be some elements that differ from the final game. Since we have the opportunity, I want to talk about Terry using a lot of SNK lingo, meaning in this discussion, the younger generations may feel a little out of the loop. Oh god, dude, he's gonna be using lingo and everything, oh shit! But there's nothing to worry about. When we released the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Bros., I was often asked, who is Samus? Whether or not the character is fun to play as is more important than whether the character is new or old, or whether the character is recognizable. Boy, we're getting meter. I want to make sure I present Terry to you in such a way that you can fully understand his appeal. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's see it, let's see it! What we got? This is Terry Bogard in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. He's still wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original game, but we did right. our best to make him look cool in a variety of ways. When he stands next to Ryu, it almost makes you wonder, is this really a Super Smash Bros. game? Doesn't it? Just like Ryu, when you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, he'll face- Yo, the walk! Yes, he's always facing! Okay, good. Okay, we know. If you move him to a location behind the opponent, he'll quickly- Bro, you see how high he jumps? Keeping his focus on the opponent. Dude, his full hop is way better. His neutral attack. His full hop is way fucking better. And high kick. Oh, okay, there's the jab. Each move is something familiar from the. Yo, that jab three looks really good. And his dash is power charge. But Jesus! Oh my God! Look how fast he is! This is a move. That dash attack. That dash attack! Oh my God! His tilt attacks are middle kick. Yes! Rising upper. Yes! And under. Oh, we got a good down tilt! You see the range of that move? You, his attack speed is slower. Okay, attack speed slower. This is to match his original series. Okay, that's fine. He got range, but it's a little bit slower. That's okay. Now for a smash attack. First up, backspin kick. Look at that forward smash! His smash attack is the equivalent to his strong attack. Look how far he goes forward! In his original series. Look! Next, wild upper. And slide. Yep, I, I called that down smash. I did call that up smash and down smash. I did call that. Then his midair moves. Jump, then chop. Oh, it's the chop! Jump, That's his nair! Kick. Jump, then backward kick. Okay, his backer's like reuse. And then somersault kick. Bro, look at this up there! Dude, that looks so deep! But we needed a move to attack up. So we created a new move. Dude, they created it! It's a brand new move! Also, jump and then karate punch. For a down air attack. Okay, he does have Ryu's down air. It's possible to attack with a meteor effect, as you can see here. It's basically like. Oh, we saw his up throw. His up throw looks good. His forward throw is his familiar Buster throw. His back okay. throw is also Buster throw. And his down throw is neck breaker drop. Neck breaker drop. Okay. In fact, he used it in the game Fatal Fury: Wild Ambition. I've never seen that animation, okay. And then his up throw is grasping up. Dude, that up throw looks like it could be a combo throw. After spot dodge. I mentioned dodge attack. And this actually does exist. During a spot dodge, immediately press the button to counter attack. What? Wait. That's just spot dodge cancelling, right? Attack, your upper body becomes invincible, so this kind of move gives you the advantage when you counterattack. Wait, wait, your upper body gets invincibility? Now for a special attack. What? Bro, spot dodge cancel up tilt's gonna be broken as shit. With just the B button, is power wave. Depending on how long you press the button, you'll use one of two types of special attacks. Weak and strong. Okay, there's only two types. This one is weak and kind of slow, and this one is strong. Fast, isn't it? For okay. Ryu, in his original game, you used three buttons, so there were weak, medium, and strong attacks. For Terry Bogard, you could use four buttons in his original game, but there were only two buttons for punch, so that's why he only has two attack levels. Weak. And okay, so there's only fast and slow. Okay, so he can't mix it up as much as Ryu. 
By the way, the attack power wave is a move that shoots energy along the Shadow Shadow haters are gonna really hate this? Oh yeah. In his original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. This is how it looks now. As of oh, that's what it looks like in the air? The power wave ability had a shorter range, so we've recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps keep opponents in check. Dude! Next, what the fuck? That looks so good! Of your opponent, burning knuckles. This move also has a weak and that strong version. Okay. As well as a command okay. Move. Okay. Like the Hadoken command input from Street Fighter 2, you perform this command using okay. directional input down to the side in the direction of your opponent and then press the button. Doing so makes So that's his Hadoken input. This means that Burning Knuckle has four variations. Four? Without command input. And strong without command input. Weak with command input. And strong with command input. The so there's three, four, four. The command input is of course the most powerful. You'll hear a noise when you input the command. And if you've succeeded, you might also notice the green mixing with the flames. That animation looks so good. There is a difference. The strong version of the command input really is strong, even capable of KOing opponents. It's a kill move! It can be blocked, however, so be on the lookout for that. In such a case... Okay, that does have enough lag. You get punished. We'll have to see how good, um, light is, is on light. for the Super Smash Brothers series, but the side specials are split into two versions, a back special and a front special. Back then special, front special. One more side special than usual. Crack shoot. There's this two side specials! In and it's- and it's crack shoot! I was right! Dude, look at crack- it's there! It has two side specials! Followed by the A or B button. The command version can launch your opponent quite a bit further. What the fuck?! It creates a bit of an arc, so it can be Look at the range! When your opponents try to hit you. Oh my god, crack shoot is broken! It's harder to be counterattacked because you'll pass through them. Crack shoot is broken! When you do a crack shoot off screen, this is how it will look. Terry swings with his whole body when using Burning Knuckle and Crack Shoot, so it can be hard to recover. However, if you keep pressing backwards without infinite command... WAIT! HE HAS AIR DRIFT! HE HAS AIR DRIFT! DID YOU GUYS SEE THAT? HE FUCKING DRIFTED! HE HAS FUCKING AIR DRIFT! Do this. OH MY GOD! HE HAS AIR DRIFT! And then you can recover. If you press too quickly or input some command... OH! HE'S BROKEN! So be careful. And this is his up special, Rising Tackle. Oh, his up B is Rising Tackle. Okay. Strong versions, each with okay. Damn it, man. Where's Power Dunk? And did you notice that if you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little? You can charge it! In this case, your whole body will be invincible. At the Entire body invincibility?! Here's an example of this invincibility in action. With the standard Rising Tackle. I got completely wiped out when I threw myself out there. But with Rising Tackle's Charge Command version, you can't be hit at this moment, so you come out on top. That's broken! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Even after using Burning Knuckle or Crack Shoot, you can still use Rise. Yo, that recovery looks fine! This is also very helpful when you're trying that to- That recovery looks fine! That in mind. His down special is Power Dunk. Yes, it's in! Power Dunk's in! It's now me! Fuck you, train! There's a train outside, it's loud as shit. Down, 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 man, man, man is also known, known as a Shoryuken shoryu command. command. Okay, Shoryuken shoryu command. Okay. If you, if you keep pull it off, you'll be, you'll be invincible at the start, start of the move. It's INVINCIBLE TO ME! YES! YES! Also, you can, you can hear, hear a sound, sound when it connects. Oh, that's so beautiful! Now, now let's, let's talk, talk about, about canceling, canceling specials. specials. 
I'd really, I'd really like, like you to keep this in mind. First, First if you, if you use a special after, after attacking the standard, standard attack. attack. Okay. Wait, that's forward tilt. The that's my forward tilt. Out until the move animation is finished. That makes, that makes sense, sense, right? But here's, here's what happens. Can cancel out of it. Wait! Wait, he can cancel out of his life forward tilt? He can cancel out of his life forward tilt! Oh my god. I'll do that again. Throw out a kick like normal. And once your leg extends, you'll perform the move. Oh my god, guys. Set it up so that when you attack, you can go straight into the special. This, this will increase, increase your offensive options. options. Please, Please try, try this out. For example, example neutral, neutral attack 1, 2, two and, and power down. This, this is a bread and butter combo. combo. So Aside from that, you can also, also get Terry to fly out and attack in an M shape. He can aerial special you cancel too. You could only cancel attacks on the ground, but in, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, ultimate, it's possible, possible to cancel aerial, aerial moves. What the fuck he can can't Oh my god. The types, the types of aerial attacks that you can cancel. Are limited I failed no nut November guys. Or down, or down air attacks. Air attacks. But Rising but tackle I looks so good! And at last, the final, final smash. His final, final smash begins with a triple geyser. Terry will shoot three geysers straight forward. Wait. Wait a minute, I just now realized, is there no meter? If you think that's all, you're very, very mistaken. mistaken. Oh wait, he hasn't shown off the f his smash attacks yet either. Buster Wolf, okay, there we go. As you, As you can see, see if triple, triple guys are next, next you'll, you'll follow up with Power, power Dunk and Buster, Buster Wolf. It's three, three moves, moves in one. It's a, it's a visually striking, striking combo. combo. Ronan dying his hair pink. Fuck. Hey, we don't know yet. He ain't done. Super special moves. Yes. Yes. They're here too. With the usual rules, when Terry's damage meter rises up to 100%, no. When his overall HP drops to 30% or less, you'll see this go icon at the bottom of the screen. At this point, you can enter the specific command. Hey, that counts. That counts. Now I'm not dying my hair pink. Power geyser is here. The command input is if I borrow, borrow the way it said in the original game. game down, angle down, angle down, down side, side, angle, angle down, down, forward. forward. Well, well, it's, it's a bit complicated. complicated. Downward, downward, then backward, then, then forward. You see? It isn't, it isn't actually a game after all, so you get, so you get to control, control the direction of your punch, be it right or left. That's so that cool! Means, no, matter no matter which direction you're going for, for just, just swap the right input and left, and left input. input. It's, like it's like this. Downward, downward then, backward, then backward, then forward. Or down, or down and then forward. Dude! Direction. That's that Dude! And then, and then there's this other super special move. move. Ah! Yes! Yes! You can initiate this fight by repeating the Hadouken. Oh, this character's busted! That's all I needed! That's all I needed, baby! That's all I fucking needed! It can be rather difficult to pull off moves using the original game's command input, but you can also use simplified command input. In the case of Power Geyser, remember this. Down, side, down, forward. As long as you... I can Buster Wolf people in the face! Downward again. And then forward, you should, you should be fine. fine. And the, and I don't have to dye my hair, bitches! Simply down, down, side, <laughs> down, side. <laughs> that, should that should be easier to remember. Not the meter I wanted, but I'll take it? Yeah, man. The command input is complex. It can, it can still be blocked with ease. Since, Since these moves, moves can only be used when Terry has taken a lot of damage, damage you'll be in even more, more danger if your opponent blocks. blocks. Oh, it's something you only get when you take damage. Please save, Please save them for when you really need to make a last ditch effort. Okay, so it's like waft. You can That's so cool! But be, but be careful. Your opponent, your opponent may be able to predict your move and take, take action. action. Essentially, it's best, best to use it when it's least, least expected, or to cancel, cancel out of a combo, like this.
for the, for the taunts. taunts. I decided, I decided to, match to match his original game. His, his up taunt is, hey, come on, come on, from, from the King of Fighters, Fighters series. series. His All right. Taunt spins, spins his hat like in the real Bout series. series. And his side taunt is stand up from Gungaro. Yes, that's the one I wanted! I That's the taunt I wanted. Very special moves in the game. Yes, Delta, it is everything I wanted. Like that. Like that. We've, We've incorporated both his longer, longer remarks, like Power Wave, Wave from, from older, older titles, titles and his shorter, shorter remarks, like Rocky, from, from newer titles. titles. The most that most JoJo looking taunt it is. And here are his cover variations. Ah! There's a variety of colors available from the Tasha series. And the cat design is slightly different in each version. version. They're, based They're based on his original game. game. Damn, no Goro outfit, uh, no Mark of the Wolves outfit. And the anime series. They have one for the anime series, really? Yes. Sometimes it takes off in half too. For example, it happens during this victory pose. His, his cat also blows away when he is defeated in stamina mode. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Okay, here we go. Finally get the stage. Dude, everything I wanted, I got. Everything I wanted, I got. I'm spoiled. It looks, it looks like one hardcore, hardcore fighting, fighting Coliseum. The text, the text above the Jumbotron reads, like King, King of Fighters. Fighters. Make it legal! When we, when we talk about a game title, title we need the up front. But the, but the name, the name of the tournament in the game story is just, just King of Fighters. Fighters. This, this is, is a very unique stage, stage and it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before. First, First the, the edge is walled off. off. In the, in the Super, Super Smash Bros. series, you need, you need to launch opponents off the stage. Ah, uh, dude, I get, I get why they designed it like that. The more the wall is the more the wall is visually and the launch into it. Can you see? Oh, that's so cool! Fighters will break right, right through the wall. That's cool. So there are that is cool. That is cool. I love this stage. This stage. Allows you to allows you to KO an opponent only after they have enough damage. Dude, this stage looks like it'd be so much fun. I mean, hella unlegal, by the way. But cool. That's so dope. When you're close to the wall, it's possible to KO even when your damage is low. It's just, it's just like, like in regular stages. stages. Guys! In the real about Fatal, Fatal Fury series, series, there was a feature in which the walls were play. destroyed and players could suffer a ring out. This could easily be one of the best characters of the game. They this gave him... Exactly the same. They, they gave, gave him air drift. They we gave him air drift. A fighting, a fighting game character in Smash that can actually control when he jumps in. And like drift back if he wants to to space. Since we have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce them to you. Nah, this ain't legal at all, bro. First up, Andy Bogard. What's good, Andy? Adopted brother of Terry Bogard. Both of them were adopted from an orphanage and raised by Jeff Bogard. However, while Terry's teacher was Jeff Bogard, Andy studied under my Shiratsu's father. He uses I can't wait to see how mad Twitter's gonna be. Oh boy. Woo! It's gonna be great. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to these power. He's a Muay Thai champion. Kung Fu Ru. Yo, Kung Fu Ru! And he also trained Jeff Bogart. He can enlarge his body as well. Billy Kane. Bro, fuck you, Billy. Have you ever fought Billy? He's annoying. While well, he appears in the first game, his costume is based on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. You can't really see his back, but the Bro, you can bust the wall people in bracket! He's Howard. He's the big boss of South Town. And he's the rival of Terry Bogard. Falling off of buildings is his thing. Falling off of buildings is his thing. Yo, Rock! His first appearance was got on Mark of the Wolves. Ah, uh, I know Max is popping off. That means his appearance in this game at this age with that look doesn't really jive with the timeline. But Smash is kind of like that to begin with, right? Kim Kaplan. He uses Taekwondo. Damn, they really got a bunch of different models in here just for cameos. He's very famous. Yuji Yamazaki. 
His first, first appearance was in Fatal Fury 3, and he's, and he's a what's well known as Dark, Dark Broker. Broker. He's, he's very selfish and sadistic. Blue Mary. Blue Mary, Blue Mary too? Yo, Terry's Blue girlfriend's in here. She uses a combat sambo, and she sees a good drinking buddy of Terry's. Those, Those were the characters from the Fatal Fury series, series. But, from but from here on, let me introduce, introduce characters, characters from the other series. Athena, Athena Asanya. She's, she's a psycho, psycho soldier. Psycho, psycho soldier is a memorable... Damn, he really went in on these cameos. And it was the first title to feature a fully voiced theme song within the game. This epic song was also huh? remixed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it was recorded I don't know. in both so. Japanese and English. Hey, dude, this I don't care. I like this. They did something. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters series, and he uses the ancient martial arts Sanayuyu. Speaking of the protagonist, there are differences depending on which version you're talking about, like Orochi and Ness. 45 minutes? Anyway, he is forever a school kid. We still have another 20 minutes before this is over, guys. Originally, Yori! But when I first saw this character in the game at the time, due to his look and attitude, I thought whoever created this character must be a genius. Daimo. He's a judo gold medalist belonging to the Japanese team, and he likes to throw his opponents. They need to just cameo character for 20 minutes? I know, they've already gone through the history lesson. What else do they have? And the other is a slasher. They are currently undergoing rehabilitation under the previously mentioned Kim Cup one. Bro. Ralph Jones and Clark Still. Originally, they were main characters in the Ikari Warriors series before Neo Geo. They appeared as guests in the Who the fuck are you two? Yo Ryu! Ryo! The Art of Fighting. The original, the original Art of Fighting was released just, just before Fatal Fury 2. 2. That, that means it was the first game, game to implement a true super, super special move. How could, How could I not, not include him? Gameplay 2, hopefully? Probably. Her first, first appearance was in Art of Fighting, and she's a bouncer and bodyguard. She's she a beautiful, beautiful woman with an androgynous sense of style. Bro, like... She was, she was kidnapped. kidnapped. Terry, Terry's, Terry's gonna have the best burst options in the fucking game. We haven't, e we haven't even gone over all of his movements. That dash attack, fucking crack shoot. Oh my god. So, so, as you can see, we've included many characters. A total of 20 characters. You know, it's very cumbersome. I mean, I mean it takes a lot of time. But so many people love each and every one of these characters. Even outside the confines. Why no Rugal though? I don't know. We have to do our best by them. By the, By the way, way, you may, you may have noticed that a very, very important character from the Fatal Fury, Fury series was not included. included. Yes, yes Mai Shiranui. Super, Super Smash, Smash Brothers Ultimate is for good, good boys and girls, girls many different ages, ages. so we decided not, not to feature her. He said her titties are too much! In the music of Fate, I checked which special guest was here. For example, there's, There's a track, a track called Pasta, and when, and the, when the music is playing, is playing Andy Bogart will always appear. Okay! I hope, I hope you look forward to that as well. <laughs> he actually said my titties are too much! Let's see him in action, let's go! Okay, okay. I'm, done I'm done providing, providing information, information. So, now so now let's, let's jump, jump into some actual battles. battles. This, this time, time I'm going, going to play the Terry route in classic, classic mode. On top, On top of that, I want to try and hit the highest, highest intensive level. level. Let's, Let's see if I can get all the way up to intensity 9.9. Okay! Honestly, playing the game in extreme difficulty while doing commentary is extremely hard. One or the other is doable, but doing both at once forces me to divide my attention. But that means I should do my best with both. Okay! All right, Sakurai. First, First this, this route, route is named the King, King of Smash. Smash. The King of Smash? Oh, oh no! Shut up, the K9! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yo, that downer had no lag. Okay. Neither did that down smash. It looked like. All battles in Terry's route are stamina battles. This day is just a play rule that I talked about. Dude, that that was like light burn knuckle, and it looked like it had that much lag. Ha on okay. Route, a lot, a lot of, of stages feel like, feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Dude, those aerials had no lag. Those aerials had no lag. At a short hop. Okay, okay I, did I did it anyway. anyway. Oh god, that looked cool. <laughs> of course, even in this 
Lord, it's not impossible for me to try for the KO, but normally it'll be over before that. There. Done. Woo! Goddamn, I'm so ready! Looks like, Looks like he's saying, saying give me something. Next, Next. Round, round two. It's the Legend of Zelda team. Just because, Just because characters are in a team because, because of their similarities, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that they have to be... Bro, if you land, like, Burn Knuckle, you can immediately set up with Power Wave, that's awesome. And Power Wave doesn't look like it has a lot of lag! Power Wave looks like you can act right out of that shit! And I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of the prison tower. It would be easier to simply knock him off the screen. His dash grab looks pretty good, too! Because it's not as fun to watch. Oh god, okay, so Power Dunk does dunk. I've been seeing him, like, get this weird um, hitbox where it kind of sends him away a couple times. All right, all right. Will he do it? Wait, he hasn't shown the smash attacks. Oh yeah, he did. He did he show down smash? All right, all right. I don't I don't remember what his down smash was. Bro, this dash attack looks so good. I can't go to the edge. Oh no, bro, dude, he can set up just like he can in King of Fighters. The tables have turned. Canceled it. I'm so excited that Power Dunk's in the game. He wears, he wears his yeah, it looks like Power Wave is definitely spammable. You can just throw that shit out. We finally get to experience DLC privilege? I know. Bro, bro, did you guys see that? When he landed a uh, crack shoot, he didn't send Bowser away. He immediately got a combo out of it. But I mean, this is stamina mode, so let's calm the fuck down. This track is from Fatal Fury 2. Bro, he just hit crack shoot on block and it did not matter. Regardless of the track, it's a really famous hard rock. His air drift! His fucking air drift! The original song is called You Shall Die Dance. There's that mass wrestler. This character's top tier. You can't tell me otherwise. This character, I, I know, I know we have not got our hands on this character, but I'm looking at this, and I'm saying it right now. This is a top tier. It looks like Power Dunks just, it has a habit of sending away, which is kind of depressing, but that's okay. Round four. That up! Oh my God, his air drift! I can't get over this. We have a fighting game character with air drift. Oh, oh, there's an, there's an item. There's, there's an arcade game series called Athena, and this stage uses that as a motif. Oh, oh it's metal. Now that I'm thinking about it. I suppose Lady Palutena and, and the Athena games were top games. Oh my god, yo. This character's beautiful. This character's everything I wanted and more. That down air has no lag. No fucking lag on that down air. His, like, his ledge trapping is gonna be just as ridiculous as Ken's because he has amazing anti airs. Not bad, dude. Please give me this character right right now, please. Please give me this character. By the way, Dash Tech. You can use moves like Crack Shoot to aim for overhead platforms, so they have some utility. You can just pressure platforms with it. I kept trying to check. That was close. Dude, Power Wave in the air is gonna be so good. We can actually go out and edge guard. We can actually go off stage and edge guard, guys. It's getting brutal. The intensity is close to eight. You can say, you can say that close the team is. Yeah, Lightburn Knuckle does not have as much lag. That's good. That's what I wanted it to have. Actually, Sonic and Terry were both created in '91, so they're the same age. Wait, I, dude, imagine if they give him throw combos. In '92, Kirby was born. Everyone's getting old. But they're still active, active duty. You can pretty much just treat up B. Wait, wait. When he up B's, does he go into free fall? Has anybody seen no, that yet? It's easier to fight on slope ground. When using track shoots, it's especially easy going uphill. Yikes. 
It's too soon to be taking this much damage. I started out with 150 HP, so I feel like I'm losing. Next, Next Mega Man. Mega Man. He was born in 87. The first Street Fighter came out in 87 as well, so that makes you the same age. That was bad. None of his aerials have lag. None of his aerials have lag. We in there, boys. God, dude. Oh, my God, he's beautiful. Of course, this character was made by Bandai Namco Studios, but when I talk to their team, I'll call him your company's character. They always come back saying... Crack Shoot has, like, no lag. Like, doesn't really look like it has much lag either. I often have these kinds of exchanges with them. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, you can get grabbed out of that. You gotta be careful. Oh, are you okay? How was that? Wait, wait, what? The meter didn't go away. Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't the meter go away after he used it? Missed. Oh, that might be broken. Okay, that might have just been. That might just be. That might just be like a. You know, a classic mode thing. That could be broken. If it stays, we're, that's dumb. Oh, not good. If it doesn't go away, that is dumb. I don't want to get hit by him. Not even once. It stays after 100%. What? It stays? That is so broken. That is actually like broken, broken. That was a bad move. Yo, the angle that back throw sends at looks really good. All right. Can I do this without getting hit? Now for a scary one, Bayonetta. Yeah, it seems like if you if you hit crack shoot at a certain angle, like uh, yep. As, you like, you know, at the certain hitbox, hit you can immediately set up afterwards. I'm kind of seeing it, but we'll just have to see how much in lag Crack Shoot has. Pulling off the near -near jump is risky. Oh, I want this character now. That forward tilt looks good, too. Please be invincible. So good. Dude, you guys see that? You saw that. Light Burn Knuckle does not have that much lag. But you couldn't take advantage of that opportunity. And that will cost you a lot. That's so good, man. Oh my god! Time for the final battle. It's, it's not Master Hand, hand but you can, can invent Tay's. Art of Fighting version 2 through 0 0 0 0 0. This is so fitting. In other words, it's kind of a theme fight. He's super strong, so I have to work hard. I'm not facing this out very well. I'm starting he can meet He doesn't go into free fall when he uses rising tackle in the air. He doesn't go into free fall. He doesn't go into fucking free fall. Holy shit, this character's busted. He doesn't go into free fall. Oh, this is some DLC privilege bullshit if I've ever seen it. Oh my god. Like, look, he even gets like a lot of air drift too. Like his model's not flashing. This is no good. Got it. Pretty sure you saw free fall after upbeat. I might be wrong, but it doesn't look like it. I messed up a perfect shield. That fair, the diagonal down kick, that looks so good. Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. Like you can space yourself in the air with that. But yeah, but with a power wave? If I could have pulled off a super special move, that, that would have been awesome. Oh but my god, right, dude. I'm going to have so much fun with this character. I'm a Buster Wolf, yes, everybody! That's the part of the work. Terry Bogars is really fun, fun to play as, so, so I hope you enjoy playing as him in such situations. situations. Just tell me he's coming out today. Okay, so let's hear, let's hear some bangers. Let's, let's talk, talk about the music. This, this time, time we have something very special lined up for you. you.
For instance, when we were deciding which songs to include in this set, we thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry, but there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. That aside, the music as SNK has always been great, right from the beginning. We got five minutes left? This okay. Time, we used electric tracks that could be called SNK style. Basically, we expanded the selection a bit to include series outside of just Fatal Fury. And the they really filled the entire time slot with just Terry. SNK songs have always been great, really. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters scenes to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. We did, we did a lot, lot of digging around, around and, and finally managed, managed to narrow our many candidates down, down to 50 songs. 50 uh, tracks?! We never, we never intended to do something like this, of course. So we, so we submitted our 50 proposals to SNK, expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20 that they considered acceptable. But they told us they were, okay. They just gave them all to you?! As a, As a result, result we pretty, pretty much, much added in 50, 50 songs. songs. Have, a Have a look at the list. list. That's how we ended up with the list we have, but we worked hard to deliver some of the best remixes. This was a very Bro! case, and I don't think we'll be able to do the same for other Bro, you really just got the whole fucking- They got the whole fucking album! They got Metal Slug music? I do, I do hope, hope you'll enjoy it. Challenger, Challenger Pack 4, 4 comes with the Spirit Board, board too. The Spirit, spirit Board can be selected via the Spirit's menu. menu. Have, Have a look at the background. If it, if it looks familiar, familiar to you, you'll, you'll start feeling pretty nostalgic. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little, cool little nod. Nice and vibrant, isn't, it? isn't it? You can, you can also, also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. That old school Athena Athena Terrence Mark, 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 is gonna be broken. <laughs> now for, for the meat fighters. fighters. Please have a look. He has fucking air drift. Oh god, who's getting deconfirmed? Don't show Akuma. Okay. Some SNK reps. Naruru, Nakaru. Art of Fighting. Oh yeah, Rio, okay. Yo, Iori! Alright, alright. Yo, they show so much love to King of Fighters right now. Yay, Akira's back! Yo, you guys don't know about Virtual Fighter, but I've been wanting a Virtual Fighter character in this game for a while now. That's okay, though. That's okay. We got Terry. Hey, Jackie back, too! Yo, anybody, any real ones in here actually played uh, Virtual Fighter? Leak knees didn't happen. Yep, Sakurai's like, y'all don't know shit about Character 5. I'm still hoping for Doom Guy. I'm still hoping for Doom Guy. But right now, I'm satisfied. I don't even care anymore. Terry looks phenomenal. Available no November 6th. That's today. That's Terry's that's dropping today. Terry, but Terry's dropping today. It borrows a lot from the series Nakoruru comes from, like, like the wind slash attack. So I, so I hope you'll enjoy those little details. details. Moving, Moving on, on to Amiibo. Here's, here's the new lineup. lineup. Hey, Incineroar! And Incineroar. Each, Each of these will be released on Friday, November 15th. Okay, dope. Dope. Okay. The update! Are you gonna cover patch notes? Next, Next let's, let's discuss, discuss the details, details of the update. We've, We've made, made some improvements to battle arenas. Arena. Oh, really? First, First we're, we're making, making it, it so you can send, send messages to each other in a battle arena. arena. Oh, the salt! The salt! The salt. The salt. So you know it's coming! And also, the players who created the arena can now change the rules. Yes! Oh, I hated that so much! They play either battlefield form or omega form at random in the stage settings. 
Aside from that, that you can now, now play League, League only as, as an arena type. Oh, really? Furthermore, the quick play won't be the only, only way to play with people you don't know. As long as, long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, we've made, made it so anyone is not free to join. So I, so I hope you'll enjoy that. <sighs> he threw us something. Do for distribution on November 6th. If you, if you have, have a fighter's pass, pass yes, it's, it's today! Away, or, you can or you can purchase them separately. It's today! That wraps it up for our yes! 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 I hope you were able to convey his appeal. Ah! By the, By the way, way, his reveal, reveal trailer, trailer was aired in advance. It was, it was created using SNK pixel art. The complete version, version of it, including the gameplay portions, is finally ready. I'd like, I'd like to show it to you after this. Wait, we got another trailer? Now, now this, this is something of an inside story, story but I of course wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art pack reveal trailer. When the, when the invitation comes out, you might, you might recall oh. how it says, don't, don't be late, S. S. That is, that is not, not what I wrote. It makes, it makes me think, ugh, this, this is why, why I... No, dude, I, they already got my money! I'm leaving it to the staff. It's, it's not its way in there. I just, I just want you to know that the S, S is, is also the Super, Super Smash Brothers series. Brothers, well, well, let's, let's move on, on to, to the intro movie. movie. Okay, let's see it, Sakurai. Let's see it. Guys, I am so fucking ready. Oh my god. I'm so ready. This trailer was so dope, man. This tra I've watched this trailer like a million times and I never get tired of it. Ah, uh, get out of here, Joe. It ain't happening. Geese, I wanted you, man. I wanted geese really bad. Bro, we have input supers. Input supers. <laughs> this shit don't feel real, yo. You know, the funny thing is, I was like, I wonder if Sakura would be crazy enough to give us that. I actually said that before this actually went live. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I was like, what if he actually does that? Oh, okay. They changed it up. Yo, this music, man. Yo, man, this is so fire. My boy's in here. Dude, that fair looks so good. It has no lag either. Can you get a follow-up from that up tilt, though? Wait. Guys, I just now realized something. Terry doesn't have proximity or light inputs. He doesn't have proximity moves or light inputs, like light tilts and stuff. I don't know how to feel about that. But that's okay. We got everything else. A little too much content this time. Hopefully I'll be able to make future showcases a little shorter. Nah, Sakurai, you can have all our time. It's cool. Oh, is that it? The stream's being concluded. Awesome. All right. You guys know what I'm about to do. I'm about to go and see if I can download Terry, just like everybody else. Oh, God, dude. Oh, my God. That presentation is wild. I'm about to lab the shit out of Terry. We're about to have a good-ass time. That presentation was phenomenal. Goodbye, Nintendo servers. You're not wrong. You're actually not wrong. <laughs> Everybody and their brothers try to get their hands on Terry. Oh, yeah.
Oh yeah. It's time to lab. Okay. Let me get some good music going though, because we, we all know we're going to be here for a minute. Where would I go to get it though? I'm trying to remember. Well, I mean, I've already got it down. I mean, I should, it should just be an update actually. When does the up when does the update go live? The update doesn't seem to be out yet. When does the update go live? Probably in like three hours. Okay, guys. All right. Well, in the meantime, um, until the update does go live, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my reaction video up on YouTube. I think that's what I want to go ahead and do. Yeah, Rage Terry is going to be insane, Orc Tamer. It's going to be insane. So, yeah, guys, once I get my hands on the update, I will be going live. I'll make an announcement on Twitter and everything, and I got you guys covered. I am so ecstatic for this, this character right now, man. I am ecstatic for him. All right, guys, I will catch you guys later on. As soon as I get my hands on him, but there ain't no point in me just sitting in here, like, you know, hitting the A button until I get the update. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's, before, before I, did, before I leave, before I leave, let me make sure, let me actually go and check Twitter real quick. Let's go take a look at Twitter. Oh, wait, let me go ahead and, uh, turn off my display. Let's see how mad everybody on Twitter is right now. Oh my god, dude. Everyone's popping off. You get the best bar, Ronan, the one that never goes away. I know. You can't take it away from me, bro. It's always going to be on deck. You never know I'm going to just buster wolf you in the face. That input looks kind of weird. It's never going to be hard to learn at first. But once I get it down, it's over. Especially if you can combo into it. Which, I'm sure you can. Let's see, can any, does anybody know when the update comes out? Does anybody know? Oh my god, dude. Is there anything on that? Okay, guys. Until I find out what, like, you know, wait. Wait, 10.30 East? Okay, that gives us a couple of hours. 
I'll be back, guys. I will be back whenever I get my hands on Terry and I have everything set up. We're going to go ahead and start labbing him, get his frame data worked out. We're going to start theory crafting the character and just go from there. All right? I'll see you guys then. Deuces.